What's going on everyone, Nintendo Fanatic 64 and I'm coming here with a new opening video. Today I'm bringing the new Legendary Dragon decks. Uh, this just came out by the time I uploaded this about a week ago for it. And has uh, three different decks that are available in here for it. Uh, kind of continuing what they did with the uh, Yugi's Legendary decks. This box is so big that... With the camera I'm using, I have to hold it up just so we can actually fit the whole box in here. Uh, but it's definitely got cards I've been looking for to try and work on my Dark Magician deck. Which, now that I have this, and I have a second one as well, I haven't opened that one either because I wanted to wait till I did this one first. Um, I'm going to be doing a updated profile for my Dark Magician deck, and I might also be doing a Cyber Dragon. Uh, Cyber Dragon deck as well. So we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna set my camera down while I work on opening this. Uh, and of course, there's like a lot of reprints, a couple newer cards added into this, uh, which are pretty awesome for it. And then um, even has like the one card that any Dark Magician deck player wants to run, uh, which is the Apprentice Illusion Magician. So go ahead and slide that on open and before I pull them out I'm just going to pick my camera back up again so we can just take a look at the three different decks of course there's uh, Odd Eyes, Cyber Dragon and then of course the uh, Dragons of Atlantis deck so I'm going to start off with the um, Odd Eyes deck first and just kind of going from the ones I don't know too much about to the actual ones I know more about so if I can get my camera set up here better so Odd Eyes are Pendulum Dragon, of course, the main one, mainstay of this particular one for it. And I'll be honest, I'm not a huge person when it comes to Pendulums. Um, I don't know a whole lot of how, like, I dropped out of Yu-Gi-Oh! during the time that Pendulums were actually released. So I might use this, uh, use these decks to try and build a decent Pendulum deck, because I know most people will usually have at least one Pendulum deck, so I might do something with this, but... Let's go ahead, take a look at this, and just try and get it. Whoop, try and get it centered. And then now uh, this one, I'm pretty sure they said this is a 41 card deck, and then running um, with a 10 card extra deck, as opposed to the other decks that are running a 40 card main deck and then a uh, 11 card extra deck. So let me see if I can focus this slightly better no i mean that's a little better so we can actually read the cards move that slightly so odd eyes are pendulum dragon a vanilla pendulum uh, if an odd eyes card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon odd eyes monster from your hand deck or graveyard you can only use the effect of odd eyes are pendulum dragon once per turn so pretty decent uh we have odd eyes pendulum dragon which i hear is another pretty decent one uh, we have Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Uh, we have the Clearwing Synchro Dragon, which is an alternate artifact, I'm pretty sure, um, I think as well. I think a lot, some of these other ones are. Uh, Dark Rebellion XZ's Dragon as well. Also, um, a different artwork for it. How do I, how do I need to, let me try switching. Will that be better on it? Maybe. I don't know. I'm still trying to play around with lighting. My normal light went out on me, so I'm just trying to work on things so we can actually still read these. Uh, another Odd Eyes Pendulum. Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. Uh, Persona Dragon. Uh, another Phantom. Uh, Mirage Dragon. Uh, we have uh, Perform Pal Odd Eyes Light Phoenix. Uh, Perform Pal Odd Eyes Unicorn. Uh, Perform Pal Skull crowbat joker which i uh i know a couple band lists ago was completely banned is now at three and i think you get two of them in here so it's pretty nice uh perform pal rain goat perform pal you go golem get a couple of him it's not small enough i can try and hold these again i was just ah uh, i can't i haven't done deck things like this in a while unless i'm doing my own deck profiles all right so we, oh geez i'm knocking everything over all right, maybe I'll just leave it the way I had it going for it. Uh, Noble Dragon Magician. Got two of those. Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. Pretty cool looking. Uh, Sky Iris. Nice reprint there. Odd Eyes Fusion. Odd Eyes Advent. Spiral Flame Strike. Uh, Duelist Alliance, which I know is really a good card to have with Pendulum decks. Uh, I'm trying to sit like that. So, just really nice on it. Uh, Pendulum, 
Uh, Impenetrable. And a couple of those. Pendulum Storm. Uh, Pot of Riches. Looks pretty awesome. Terraforming is standard in almost every deck nowadays. So, we have. Uh, ah, man, I just. I'm sorry with this. I'm doing this kind of late at night, and like I said, my other source of light is kind of broken at the moment, so I'm trying to do the best I can. Echo Oscillation, Pendulum Reborn, uh, Pendulum Switch, and then moving on to the other extra deck common cards Supreme King, Dark Starving Venom, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, uh, Perform Battle Gatling Ghoul, uh, Supreme King, Dragon Clear Wing, uh, Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. Uh, Supreme King Dark, or Dragon Dark Rebellion. And then a final one, if I can... Uh, wait a minute. Is that all like that? No, he's like... I don't know. I have to double check that, but... And then Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. I don't know if this is just me or if I need to look at... Do I have another card around me? I have to double check this. This seems... Odd to me, but I don't know if it's yeah. I'm just double checking. With these, they have this like blue around the corner. Usually, it's more of a gray. I don't know. It's like have they. That's I think is new with these cards. Yeah, because like you can kind of see it's more of a bluish coloring on the tint for it. Usually, like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna double check on while I grab. <sighs> I think maybe that's a newer thing. I just never noticed before because it's always like, uh, and there goes my camera again. Because I was looking at like one of my older cards I had around, and it has, you can see it's more like a grayish tint on it, but this has a more bluish tint on it. So I don't know if that's just been a new thing or if it's just been recent on it. I just haven't noticed it or what, or I don't know. But moving into the second one where we have the. Uh, Cy uh, Cyber Dragon with the Chimera Tech uh, Mega Fleet Dragon. So let's take a good look at this one. This is another one I'm interested in just because I do like... Uh, I have a Cyber Dragon deck I've been playing around with and I need a lot more stuff for it and hopefully I'll get a lot more of it out of this deck. So starting this one off, we have the Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. Uh, that's going to have to do for now. Uh, definitely going to be interesting, especially with how much extra deck gets played a lot with it. So you just use one Cyber Dragon monster and one monster from the extra monster zone. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, just, it's going to be pretty interesting to see. I mean, it comes up to 2,400 when using those. Cyber Repair Plants as a Ultra, it's definitely a good reprint. I know there's two more in here. Uh, Cyber Network, I've heard, you know, some, uh, some things about it, so we'll have to see. Uh, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon is another good one. Cyber Dragon Infinity, which uh, I have the Ultra Rares on. And then, of course, the standards, uh, Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon Zawai, and Dry. Uh, Cyber Dragon, Zawai, and Dry. Cyber Dragon, and then I think it's like three, yeah, so three of these Cyber Dragon cores, which are definitely essential for the deck. We have the one Proto Cyber Dragon, Cyber Valley, uh, pretty decent as well. Cyber Phoenix, which I don't think anyone ever really uses in a Cyber deck, same with Cyber Dinosaur there. Uh, Cyber Elitin, I think that's how it's pronounced, is a pretty decent one as well. It comes with two of those. Uh, the Armed Cybern, and then the uh, Machina for Machina Fortress. Uh, and then we have our other two Cyber Repair Plants on top of that. Uh, cybernetic Fusion Support, which is a pretty nice one. Pay half your life points and you use Fusion. And you Fusion Summon a Machine Type Monster from your... What is it? Pay half if you fusion summon machine type monster and turn banish monsters from the field and or graveyard as fusion material. So another nice way to help get like you know use power bond into cybernetic fusion support to get like um, any of your cyber dragon fusions, which are pretty nice. Uh, evolution burst with so many cyber dragons in here, it's pretty nice to see. You can use three of them just destroy. What is it like? Uh, let's see if you control cyber dragon target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So pretty nice to use as a once. 
per turn type of thing. No, so if you have it, you can play it up to three times per turn. Uh, Power Bond, super awesome in any machine deck. Overload Fusion, because there are the Dark Machine types in here as well. You get two of those, which is pretty nice. Uh, Future Fusion, a standard in like the Zane style decks as well. Limiter Removal, I mean, you can't not run a machine deck and not have that in there. Machine Armored Units, uh, we have another Cyber Network, Cyber Shadow Gardna, nice little trap monster, which is pretty good. Uh, and then the biggest things of this, of the main part of the deck, are the Mirror Forces, because you get, I'm trying to get a decent lighting on it, but you have the Storming Mirror Force, Quaking, which I believe came in one of the other structured decks recently, I want to say it was like either the, I want to say this came in the um, Cyber... Um, uh, not cyber. Uh, uh, ancient gear one for it could have came in the dino. No, it came in the dino one. I think I, I can't. I know it came in one of them. But quaking mirror force, drowning mirror force as well is also really nice. And then you have the cyber end dragon, your main target for the uh, power bond. Uh, cyber twin dragon, another good one with power bond because take it from twenty eight to double it. That becomes fifty six with two attacks, which is pretty nice. Uh, Chimera Tech Overdragon, another good one, and good with Overload Fusion, another Cyber Twin, uh, uh, the Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, which is really nice, which I think you can use also, uh, let's see, double, I'm trying to read it, must first be Fuse Summon, uh, sending above, so you use Sun Cyber Dragon 1 plus Machine Type, uh, and you can send the above cards from either field to the graveyard so you can even use like you know as long as you hit it's a machine type if you're going up against like abc's and stuff uh you can actually use like cyber dragon and you know kind of contact fusion with into this with it which is really nice so cyber dragon might be getting some play uh chimera tech rampage dragon and then the two cyber dragon novas as well which are really nice you go nova into infinity with it so moving on to the last deck of this, which is the one I can't wait for the most, is the Dark Magician Dragons of Atlantis deck. So let's go ahead and crack this one open, because this is going to have a lot of decent reprints and a lot of stuff that was like uh, exclusives for like the Shonen Jump promotion or whatever it was. But the big one in this is this card right here, Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Uh, basically, its name becomes Dark Magician, so it'll play off Magician Circle or Dark Magical Circle uh, while on the field or graveyard. And your opponent cannot target spell or traps you control with card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So basically, this will protect your eternal soul. So 3,000 Monster protects eternal soul and allows you to get a lot more good plays off for it. So as long as you can keep it on there, your eternal soul is staying along. And then this this is the card I needed the most out of all this, of course, is the Apprentice Illusion Magician. Um I don't like I last time I checked this card was getting up to like close to like a hundred, hundred and twenty dollar card and now it's available in here. So definitely worth it. I mean, let's see it can let's see you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one dark magician from your deck to your hand. Uh, during damage calculation, if your other dark spellcaster monster becomes an opponent, uh, battles an opponent's monster, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or face up on the field of the graveyard. The monster you control gains 2,000 attack and defense during damage calculation only. So basically, nice, good protector of a lot of, like, you know, your dark spellcasters, which you run a lot of. Uh, dark Magical Circle going from the secret to a ultra rare, which actually looks really nice. I kind of like it in this form as well. Uh, Eternal Soul, also pretty previously secret i like it better i think as the super just because you know you can see the artwork a little bit better on it it's really pretty i do like that as well and then magician's navigation the final one of the you know cards needed in a good dark magician deck and i was short on uh the magician's navigation i was short on the uh, i think i was short one eternal soul and one dark magical circle and then i have that and since i have two of these i have another uh i have more than enough to finish off my deck with it so and then it has the Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, uh, Magician's Robe, which I've never really run before. I might, I've never had one before, so I might take a look into that. Maybe at it. I don't know. Uh, another 
two dark magicians, another magician's robe. Three, I'm pretty sure, magician's rod. Oh, just two? Oh, I thought it was going to be three. But the magician's rod, definitely essential to help find out, like, your dark magical circle or anything like that. Skilled dark magician, eh. I don't think anyone really ever plays that. And then the legendary knights, which, of course, are uh, the reason why this is in, why this deck was here for it, you know. Um, probably not, I don't know if I'll ever build any type of deck with them, but I will use some of their stuff for it. Breaker, the Magical Warrior, nice little, uh, defensive, or good card there. Magical Exemplar, Big Shield Gardna, because it's just kind of doing the standard Yugi deck. Uh, Absolute Crusader as well, which is pretty nice. If what is it, left a level 5 or higher monster, a special summoning tribute to this card, and destroy that level 5 or higher monster. So that's not bad when it kind of counteracts, like, the Cyber Dragons and, like, a lot of other things as well, so... Um, it's not too bad on it. Dark Magic Curtain. Illusion Magic, this is another good one as well. Uh, Tribute Spellcaster, up to two copies of Dark Magician from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Um, it's another thing that I've been needing for my deck, and now I definitely have one of those. Uh, Dark Magic Expanded, Dark Magic Inheritance, also a good card. Uh, Thousand Knives, a thing that lets you destroy one monster. Dark Magic Attack, clear out your back row. Uh, Eye of Tamias, definitely something that's going to be needed for Dark Magician decks now if they want to run that uh, that new fusion on it. Fang of Critias is decent. Claw of Heramos. Uh, Legend of Heart, the way to get out the three legendary dragons on it are in their warrior form. Swords of Revealing Light. Pot of Duality, really good to have as well. Uh, Reinforcement of the Army. Dark Renewal, another one I like as well just because, you know, as long as you control the thing, it's a spellcaster, right? Yeah, your mo your opponent summons a monster, activate this, sacrifice their monster, your monster, and special summon one dark spellcaster monster from your deck or graveyard. So it's a perfect target to go right into your dark magician on it. Uh, Crush card virus, doesn't really see too much play. It's mostly used for Fang of Critias. Mirror Force is standard with all good things. Tyrant Wing, again, more of a Fang of Critias target. Uh, so Dark Paladin, of course, you can use this using Eye of Tamias with Dark Magician and... Dark Paladin, always good, especially if you're going up against something like, you know, with dragons like Odd Eyes or something like that. Uh, Amulet Dragon, doesn't get too much play, I think, but it's still pretty decent. Dark Magician, Girl the Dragon Knight, really pretty as well. Um, whoop, and then we have, yeah, it's all the other, like, dragon fusion. So we have the Doom Virus Dragon, uh, Tyrant Burst Dragon, Mirror Force Dragon, uh, Time Magic Hammer, Rocket Hermos Cannon, Goddess Bow, uh, and Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. So that's it for doing this opening. Uh, I know it really wasn't a whole lot, but, you know, I'm excited for this, you know, just because I'm going to be basically... I have two of them now, might be getting a third in the future just because I want to work on building up my Dark Magician deck and then also trying to build up a Cyber Dragon deck. Odd Eyes, maybe I'll do something with that down the line. I haven't decided yet for it. Um, but you can expect me to have a new Dark Magician deck profile coming up probably in the next week if I can get time to sit down and record that as well. But this is definitely... Um, if I can get a third one so I can get a third Apprentice Illusion, that would be pretty nice. And with this, I might also be working on finally finishing off my uh, Magician Girl deck profile to film as well. So, But we'll see how all this goes. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, whoever made it all the way through this. Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. And then, you know, like I said, feel free to subscribe because, like I said, I'll be having my updated Dark Magician profile coming up soon. So thank you all very much for watching. You have yourselves a good day. Take care and goodbye.